Hi, I'm Joseph Scaberis with CET Color, and we are going to go over a couple of differences of the Rico Gen 6 printhead and the Kia Sera printhead in our K2 models. So, what are the differences between a Rico and a Kia Sera? Why would I pick one versus the other if I'm a customer? Well, there's a little bit of a difference, obviously, in the price point of each of the heads. The Rico head is a little bit less expensive than the Kia Sera head, uh, but there are good reasons for that. Kia Sera head has got twice the amount of nozzles in it. Uh, so it is a little bit bigger than the Rico print head, allows for a little bit more coverage. So when we do get up to our 5x10 uh, K2 1000 linear machines, it can increase the production speed significantly upwards of 1400 square feet an hour. So if, it's, if you're somebody that's looking for great production speeds at, at a really high volume, uh, then the Kia Sera may be something that you are interested in. The Kia Sera also offers a four picoliter drop size, which is a very, very, very small minuscule uh, droplet of ink that it can print. So if you have a high RV production center um, or you're doing something that has got to be really, really detail oriented, uh, then the Kia Sera print heads might be the option for you when it comes to what decision you're gonna make when you're buying a printer. The Rico print heads are a great, great option. A lot of different manufacturers use Rico in their, in their machines. And our Rico print head is the newer version, which is generation six. Uh, so a lot of other machines have the generation five. So the difference between the five and the six is a little bit bigger. It's got a little bit more nozzles in it. Um, now versus the Kia Sera, it prints at about six to seven um, picoliter size, droplet size. So it's a little bit bigger droplet of ink, but that doesn't mean that the quality is not gonna be just as good. And so it, with that case, it doesn't allow us to get to as fast as speeds as some of our uh, Kia Sera print heads and our machines will do, but they still can get upwards of 600 square feet an hour, which can produce upwards of 20 boards, four by eights, um, depending upon the production level that you're looking for. So if I'm a, if I'm an owner of a shop, what I'm gonna go for, uh, if I'm just doing you know normal yard signs, acrylic pieces, a dive on, things like that, I think I would go towards the, the Rico Gen 6, uh, just because of the price point, it helps lower the cost of the overall machine. Uh, but if I did own something that was like an art reproduction center or somewhere where I really needed to have huge, huge production volumes and be able to have our machine running you know, 24 seven, pumping out a lot of different volume, then the Kia Sera would be something that I would uh, definitely consider. Hopefully those were some helpful tips on why you would wanna choose one versus the other and help make your decision a little bit easier. Um, and again, I'm Joseph with CT Color.